properties of circles. In this video, we are going to focus on angles in the same segment. You will find this on page 379 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 s. Angles in the same segment. In the diagrams, the chord AB divides a circle into a major segment and a minor segment. Angle X, Y and Z are angles subtended at the circumference by the chord AB on the major segment AEDCB. They are called angles in the same segment. So all these angles E, D and C are angles in the same segment because they are coming from this chord. Similar, angle P and Q being subtended, subtended by AB on the minor segment AFG are a pair of angles in the same segment. So again, this two will also be angles in the same segment. We will discover the relationship between angles in the same segment in the following investigation. You can click on this investigation if you want to see it. Just click on that QR. Okay. Let's, let's look at the conclusion. So in this case, the investigation reveals the following theorem. Angles in the same segment are equal. So angles in the same segment. In the diagram, ACB, ACB is equal to ADB, angles in the same segment. Let's look at an example. In the diagram, AC and BD intersects at E. Angle ACB, ACB is 50. Angle ABD, ABD is 55. Find angle ADB, ADB and DAB. DAB. Okay, so let's start. If I want to find ADB, I can say ADB is equal, so these two angles in the same segment, they are equal. So if this one is 50, this one will also be 50. Okay, now I'm first going to find, uh, if, I, if I have these three angles, can I just show you DAB, DAB, just want to take that pin again, uh, DAB, uh, DAB, BDA, DBA, D, B, A, and A, D, B, and A, D, B. It's in this triangle. Just going to show you. So I already found that this one was, if this one was 50, that one was also 50. Okay. So I have this one and this one and I must find this one. So it's only angles in the same triangle. So angles inside angles of a triangle. So angle sum of a triangle. So basically if I add this, so I just subtract this from 180 and I get 75. And that's how I do that. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 23 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. In the diagram, PR and QS intersects at T. Angle PSQ, okay, PSQ is 45. Angle PTQ, PTQ is 85. Find angle RQS, RQS. Okay, but let's start by first doing finding this angle there. So in number one, so I first going to say, let's just start there, number one. So angle PRQ is equal to angle PSQ And that is equal to 45. And that will be um, angles in the same segment. Okay. So this will be 45. Okay. Now I can find this as so let's just see um, R, Q, S. I can find 
this angle. How can I find this is angles on a straight line? So angle, okay, STP will be 180 degrees minus 85 and that will give me 95 and that the reason will be angles adjacent angles on a straight line okay so in this case then this one will be 95 and now just can I just show you it's now working in this triangle here so if I want to find angle is PT it's just the sum of the triangles so it's 180 minus 45 minus 95 and that will give me an answer of 40 degrees okay so this is 40 and this was just um, if I want to say sum of triangles it's not necessary that you write the reasons it's just help you when you do the reasoning in the question okay and then I'm just going to say but angle okay let's just put it here in another color angle um, is P T is equal to is Q or and that will be equal to 40 degrees so R Q is so and that will be my reason will be angles in the same segment so therefore um, I just show it says R Q is just read it from that side this angle or will be equal to 40 degrees and that's your final let's look do another example let's look at another example first so if I look at this one in the diagram O is the center of the circle B is the diameter okay so this is important am I even going to mark it so B E okay so B E is the diameter let's just go on A B C are straight lines so that is straight lines and then they tell you this one is 27 and they tell you this one is 24 and they find you've asked to find X and Y now the easiest one will be first to find X now where is X let's just see where is X there is X okay so in this case I'm first going to find C C uh, angle C B E this angle now if I have can I just show you here I'm just going to keep to read I'm working in this triangle here so if this one is 27 this one was 24 how can I find this one I can just say 180 minus 27 minus 20 and it's 129 okay so that one is 129 now if I want to find X it's a straight line so it's just 118 minus that 129 and that will be 51 okay and then I'm just going on to where is Y now there is Y so if I now just angles in the same segment so if I just go and I just do it here can I show you here angles in the same segment so 51 just get this ruler these angles in the same segment do you see there okay so let's just first find this one so how do I find this one let's just see the first of 51 adjacent angles on a straight line so if I'm just going to say that's 129 okay that's now 129 and that's 180 okay let's just see 129 180 so 180 minus 129 so I already have X 
but then I say ABE angle ABE is equal to A D E but that's the angle I was finding now okay so let's just see if this one is then oh no, let's just get the pen if this is 51 what will this one also be 51 because I already found that one okay so and then angle ADE okay so where is my diameter so this angle can I show you this angle in the semicircle this one is 90 so how can I find that one 90 minus that 51 will give me that y which is 39 okay okay I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now of 24 just number one again you can continue the video as soon as you are finished In the diagram, O is the center of the circle and AC is the diameter. Okay. AED and BC are straight lines. Okay. AC intersects at F and this they tell you this is 25, this is 17, find X and find Y. Okay. So let's start. Angles in the same segment. So let's start here. Can I just show you? I want to use color again. from every time from C and E so if this is 17 that one will also be 17 so let's just start so I will say angle okay angle let's just get my pen correct angle C C B E C B E is equal to angle C A E is equal to 17 degrees okay so therefore x is equal to 17 degrees but now I must find still y okay now sum of the triangles so let's just find okay this is now 17 and I have this one I want to show you this triangle now okay. I want to just use a ruler Okay, so this is 25, but don't forget that you worked out this one, that one was 17, okay, this is 25, so I can now first find that uh, this one here, let's just see if I have the correct one here, um, triangle, um, so Z, 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 now I'm going to, I'm going to just redo this, I want I want to find this one. Let me just redo. And angles, it's almost like there's a lot of routes to Rome. So you can do it on more than one way coming to the answer. But I'm going to rather use this one now. Because I want y. Y is then I must then I must try to find this one because then it's on a straight line so and I 17 and 25 so I can say angle uh, what will it now be DCA DCA will be 180 minus 25 minus 17 and that will be give me an answer of 138 and that will be just sum of triangles. Okay, and then I'm just going to go on, and then I'm just going to say to find therefore, y is going to be 180 minus that 138, and that is going to give me 42 degrees. And that is my final answer. And this will just be angles on a straight line. Adjacent angles on a straight line. Okay, that's the final answer.